Cats. Don't we just love them? I know I do. I have a cat and man I would like to sit down and create a blanket for them after playing this game. Because that's what this game is about. You are creating blankets with different little patterns where you are trying to lure a cat to so they can take a little nap on it. How cute isn't that? Now I'm gonna show you how to set up this game and how to actually play it. So let's just have a look at this. To start with, we need to sort up the big cat tiles according to the little dots down in the right corner. Some of these has three dots, some of these have two, and others have one. When we have sorted these out, we need to take one from each group at random and put them out on the table. table. Next we also need to find the cats that matches those tiles and put them next to them. Then we need to place out black and white tiles underneath each cat. As you can see, each cat has a little space where there can be a black and white tile. These are placed out at random. Next we need to take all the patches and put them in face down piles on the table. Or you could simply put them in the bag and just shake it. Next we need to draw three of these patches at random and put them faced up on the table. We need to sort out all the other buttons and tokens and place them next to the player area. Each player get their own little quilt board, but also six designer tokens in the matching color matching your player board. Each player now needs to shuffle their design tokens and then take four of them and place out in front of them. Now they get to choose three of these tokens. First by looking at them and then taking the three that they would like to use. The rest of the tokens that you did not choose goes back into the box. Once you have chosen your three tokens you get to place them out on the board. On the spot where the little cat symbol with your player color is. Next each player at random draws two patches to place in front of them. This will be your player hand. So in this game players take their turns and they will place out these little patches on their little quilt. When they have done that they need to pick up a new little piece from the table and then the turn goes over to the next player. This is the way the game goes on until we have placed out all the little quilts here. Which is 22 turns. Once we have placed out all our little patches on a little quilt, well it's time for us to see if we actually manage to score. But before we look at that, we need to look at a player's turn. And during a player's turn, they need to do two things. So the first thing a player needs to do during their turn is to take one of the two little patches here that they have on their hand. Remember, this is your hand. And then place them out on their little board in front of them. The board representing the quilt that you are trying to make. But how do you know how you should place them? Well to know that we need to take a look at these little markers here. So this here could be one of your design goal tokens. Meaning that this is the pattern that you want to create around your token to actually score. At the top of the token we can see two different numbers. The 7 here in the blue circle means that this is the amount of score that you get if you reach this goal once. The second one, the 11 in the yellow circle, this is the one that you will receive if you manage to get this goal twice. In the center of the token we can see some numbers divided by some lines. This here means that you need to get three different pairs of patch tokens around this token to be able to score. The symbols down here means that you could get these pairs either in color or by pattern. Meaning that if we manage to get two patches with the same color around the token, well then we have started to reach our design goal. But we're not really there yet, because we need three pairs, remember? We could also create these pairs with patterns. Here we have the same pattern on two patches meaning that this will also count as a pair. Remember we have either by color 
or by pattern. But we need to have either all of these three pairs in color or pattern. Meaning that we cannot mix these up. It's either three pairs in color or three pairs in pattern. So that was pairs, but some of the design tokens also have this symbol here. This means that you should have all the tokens surrounding this token here in different colors or in different patterns. Again, if you manage to get all of the different tokens surrounding this design token in different patterns as well, well then you would score the double. Whenever you manage to get an area with three or more of the same color, you would get to place out a button with the same color as the patches that you have just formed and place them on any of those patches. These little buttons here will score you three points at the end of the game. If you would manage to get one of each color of the different buttons out on your quilt, you would also get to place this little rainbow token here out on your quilt. The little rainbow button here is also worth three points at the end of the game. And that was the first step of a player's turn. To simply take one of the little patches from your hand and place it out around one of your design tokens. Wherever you feel like it would fit your need the best. And this is not always that easy because there's quite a lot of patterns and there are quite a lot of little colors on these ones. And some of these demands here are actually quite hard. But if you manage to create a little pattern here that will attract a cat, well then we would need to place out a little cat as well. And that is the second step of your turn. After you have placed out a little patch, you need to take a look at your board to see if you have managed to attract one of the little kittens. If we take a look at cute little Kalle here, we can see that we have a number here. This means that Kalle would like to lay down on a quilt that has four or more with the same patterns connected. And the patterns that Kalle would like to be placed on is either this one or this one over here. So if you have managed to get four or more of these design patterns together, well you get to place out Kalle and place him out on the little connecting patterns here that he would like to go on. Now he have placed himself on your quilt and in the end of the game you will score for Kalle as well. But as you can see, we only have three tokens here with the same pattern, right? No, it's not correct, because we can actually use the patterns along the sides as well. So some of the cats want a certain number of patches that they would like to lay down on, but some of the cats actually prefer to have a certain pattern. So to be able to attract Miho here, you would need to have this pattern of either of these patches to be able to get Miho out on the quilt itself. So that was the first step of your turn. To place one of your little quilt patches on your board and if you manage to get a pattern that will attract a cat, well then you place out the cat on one of those patches. The second step of a player's turn is to take one of the faced up tokens out on the table. And you cannot draw from the bag or if you have placed them face down on the table. You need to take one of the three that are already placed out face up. And put that one on your hand to refill your hand. Once you have done that you need to draw a new token and place it face up out on the market. Now if you want to have the tokens face down out on the table you can have that as I said during setup. But I prefer to have it in this bag, as it just gets the table to feel a little bit cleaner. Plus it's way, way easier to set up and tear down. And that is a player's turn. It's quite simple, right? If you make a pattern, well then you score. If you manage to attract a cat, well then you put the cat out on the board. And this is the way the game goes on until we have completely filled our little quilt here with patches. Once we have done that, when it's time for us to see if we have managed to score anything. 
So when the game is over, we need to see if we have managed to get some scores. And we start by looking at our design goals. As we can see here, this player needed to have three of the same color or patch, one pair of the same color or patch, one alone patch in either the same color or pair as the rest. Here he have managed to get three in the same color, two in the same color and one alone patch in its own color. Meaning that he have managed to complete the first part of this design quest. Giving him seven scores and not eleven. Because he did not get the same patterns as the design goal demanded. But if we look up here we can see that he would need three pairs either in the same color or pattern. And if we look at this we can see that he have managed to get one pair here in the same design. One pair here in the same design but also one pair here in the same design. But he have also managed to get one pair of each color. Meaning that this design badge here would actually give him 11 points. Down here we can see that he would have needed to have all of the patches circling this design token in either different colors or designs. In this case here the player did not manage to complete this one. But then we also need to calculate the cats remember? And if we flip them over we can see a number on these cats. This number represents scores that you also need to add up to your total score. Then we also need to count in the buttons and the rainbow button. Three points each, remember? Once we have done this, we have a total score. The player with the most scores becomes, well you guessed it, the winner. If there's ever a tie, the player with the most cat markers is the one that wins. If there's still a tie, the player with the most button markers becomes the winner. If there's still a tie, well then you simply share the winning. Which I think you deserve after getting that many ties, because that's quite hard. Whoever wins the game gets this cool little token here and becomes the master quilter. When you first see this game and look at the box, you would think that this is a kid's game. Well, it is not, because it's actually quite challenging to complete these design goals and get as much score as possible. I mean, there are many different little tokens in here, there's many ways to place them, and there are many ways for you to achieve more scores and it will take you some time to get in the right feel of how you can place them, how you can use the little patches on the sides as well, how you can lure cats in here and so on. It is quite challenging actually. I mean you could of course play this as a beginner game and just have a good night but as you evolve in this game it will get more and more strategic. If you would like to play it with kids because they think it looks so so cool I would say that you should just start by just putting out cats according to the pattern because that is just so much easier for them. There you have it my friend, that was Calico or Calico, I am not sure of the pronouncement here, but this is the game and this is a nice, cool comfort game, which can stress you out a bit to get those patterns and get those cats out on your quilt. I quite like this game, it's nice, it's easy to learn, but it's really hard to master. But I did really like this game. If you want to know more about it, well, check out the descriptions down here because there will be links to this cute, cute little game. If you like what I'm doing here, well, give me a thumbs up, throw in a comment, you know what to do. But most important, my friend, is to keep on spreading that board gaming love I know you all have. Peace out, my friend.